so that was how mary gave birth to jesus and you know before the coming of jesus uh it has always been prophesied that a messiah will come so all the jews have been expecting jesus now the jews are like you know they're from israel right so they've been expecting jesus to come we the gentiles we did not even heard of jesus that time i don't even know about africa what we were doing then but they were expecting jesus to come and then jesus came right and jesus grew up in the lord he was always going to his father's house which is the church always listening to the elders also teaching and they were just always wondering wow this boy is very is is you know very knowledgeable in the things of god and he was always at peace with men at peace with god loving others and then um jesus grew up right and then when he was like i don't know maybe yeah 30 or so and he he was he went to the synagogue that's what they called it that time the synagogue and they were you know someone will always do give them the script like to read from to to just talk about talk about the lord the law and everything how to follow god and then he took it and he started reading it. many people have been reading that um uh, let's say book but the way jesus read it people just marveled that there's something different about this guy and then he was just talking and talking the spirit of god is upon me to preach you know just talking and then they were like just wondering and then um let's just read from where and they were astonished at his doctrine for he taught them as one that had authority and not as the scribes as the teachers and and there was in their synagogue a man with an unclean spirit and he cried out saying leave us alone what have we to do with you thou jesus of nazareth and you know it was when just prophesied they said his name shall be called emmanuel you know jesus to save us from our sins and the, this evil spirit was just crying out because they also they prophesied that he is the son of god and still people did not believe this can you imagine and then jesus rebuked the spirit and said hold thy peace and come out of him and when the unclean spirit had torn him and cried with a loud voice he came out of him and still these people were amazed but they did not believe see and then the people were amazed saying what thing is this what new doctrine is this because they've been going through tradition and tradition for with authority commanded he even the unclean spirit and they do obey him and immediately his fame spread about so some people believed but some they were just thinking that what, what manner of they thought maybe he was a magician or something but yeah that was how jesus started doing his good work and doing miracles and everything and then it, it was also prophesied that jesus would be betrayed because he had many many disciples but he had 12 uh, specific disciples who were always following him and one of them would betray him one of his friends and why is that because jesus has to be uh, crucified for us he has to die for us his blood has to be shed so we don't have to shed this the blood of lambs and everything so that is why we need the blood of jesus to cleanse us every day so that is why if we come before god and asking god please cleanse me with the blood of your son god will remember that it was so painful for him to release his son to come and die for us so god will surely forgive you because the blood of Jesus is very, very powerful. The blood of Jesus, which speaketh speak better, better things than the blood of Abel, which we will soon learn about, is very, very strong and powerful to save us. So the name of Jesus is very strong. If you decide today and say, I'm tired of my sinful ways. And if this is true, I want to give my life to God. I want to be a follower of God, a true follower of God. Then you can be. Jesus did not come for those perfect people. He came for we that have sin in us. So that every day we will say, God, I just committed sin. I am very, very sorry. And I don't want to be a slave of sin. Please forgive me and help me. And if you ask God to give you his Holy Spirit to teach you, believe me, anytime you want to do something bad, God will just remind you. Remember that Jesus died for you on the cross. And you know, we are the ones that crucified him because they they released an armed robber. We will come to that story another day. They released an armed robber just to arrest Jesus, 
who didn't do anything because they wanted him to die saying that he blasphemed against the holy spirit saying that he is claiming to be the child of god how dare he how dare he they were just they didn't want to believe that he was the messiah we've been waiting for and that was how jesus died for us to save us so we need this blood to bring us back to god so if you die where do you want to go you want to be in heaven with god you want to be be with jesus you know and just enjoy that you don't want to be in hell with the devil which if you know what the devil did why you know the devil right now he has little time so he's looking for as much people as he can to go down with him to hell so he is going to be punished on the last day but he's looking for people to make people sin against god to go against god's word that is why he's fighting tooth and nail to take us with him but you have to believe that because how can okay someone just come from nowhere to come and die for me what kind of love is that god would have just said i'm tired of these humans and their sins i will just clear them and just burn them up but no god has so much love for us so he said what can he do to save us his son jesus who came to die for us so that is why not only did jesus die jesus also resurrected so he's not dead right now jesus uh, it was also prophesied that after this messiah dies for us on the third day he's going to resurrect that is why we know this uh celebration called the easter that is the resurrection of christ so that is why every april we chose that day to celebrate the resurrection of jesus you know from the dead because then when someone is buried they will roll like how many people have to roll a stone to cover their tomb but then so so um people you know people were now when jesus resurrected the stone was rolled away and nobody went to go and roll the stone away so they're wondering how did this jesus resurrect is it possible for him to resurrect well the spirit of god moved that stone away so many people were now since they still didn't want to believe they were like and eh, well i think maybe his disciples went to roll the stone away but they didn't so jesus resurrected and now he's alive and now we have the victory and not only did he resurrect he went to hell on that day he resurrected to take the key of life and death from the devil so that we don't have to fear anymore like if our lives are in god's hands so we if if death comes we we don't have to fear because we have the victory that we are saved salvation is the only passport to heaven so please i urge you to think about this think about this think about why we are on this earth think about your purpose in this life and if you have the gift if you have the gift of salvation tell others about jesus because there is no more time left there's no more time make yourself as pure as you can be every day ask god to forgive you ask him to cleanse you and ask him to use him for your kingdom to tell others about this because if you don't tell a mr a that about jesus he won't know and in, tomorrow if mr a dies he he will just find himself in hell and he'll be like why am i here like why he was meant to be told about jesus and that he can only go to heaven through jesus so if you don't tell and you keep this gift it is not good you have to tell others there's so many people i wish i told about jesus and maybe i was just thinking there's still time there's still time i will tell them another day another day and they will just go and their blood will be on the, in your head so just try as much as possible to tell them about jesus and also if you don't still believe after all these talks i've said then why don't you just ask god and say reveal yourself to me show me that you are real show me that what people are talking about this god this god this jesus show me i want to experience you <laughs> and if you ask the bible says ask and it shall be given seek and you shall find knock and the door shall be open unto you so if you ask god surely he will not if you ask god in jesus name in the name of jesus which is powerful he will surely show you everything he will show you and reveal himself to you so stay tuned on my channel and we're going to be in lots of things as i said my channel is versatile 
cooking singing studying the word and understanding ourselves understanding our purpose on earth and how we should fulfill our purpose and subscribe like and comment and you can suggest any video you want me to do and yeah that's it